Hi guys, this is Gabriele from Nanoshan, where we share the pleasure of drinking and discovering genuine farm tea. And today I have the pleasure to be with my dear friend Ralph. Hi, <laughs> Ralph, <laughs> how are you doing? I'm fine. Great we haven't seen you. for so long. We haven't seen for we haven't seen each other for so long. Like I don't know, um, three years? Two years? I have been in the US for almost three years. Oh, it's three years already. I thought that you yeah, it went is. to the US quite before COVID. It's at okay, the end, at the end of at the end of the year, yeah. will be three years. Okay. And uh, uh, I am in these days in Berlin. And Ralph uh, uh, noticed that I don't remember how. Maybe Instagram that I was coming and you yeah, contacted me. Yeah, I saw me. it by Instagram. Something like the that. The last time I saw it, I was too la late. Yeah, and this time was you were on time. So contact me. Can we meet each other? You know, I'm super busy because in the very early morning, we are in the morning here. I am actually in the Nanotion studio, and then in the afternoon I have to go back home to work. So what uh, uh, I suggested Ralph is to come over to the studio and have some tea together. And here we are. Yes. <laughs> so Ralph, uh, I thought drinking some green tea with mm -hmm. you because uh, green tea is uh, uh, very fresh. Uh, this year is particularly good. And uh, um, what we do, I have boxes like this one. I'll try to show that actually to the camera. Mm -hmm. sure. And you see that here for each type of green tea, we have just a few pouches. And all the other pouches are actually in, uh, and boxes and so on are actually in the uh, refrigerator. Mm. And what we do, we have just started doing this thing. So basically here we put a little bit of tea that we sell within a week so that uh, we don't have to open the refrigerator too often because what we have noticed mm when it's warm outside you have this um, moisture that enter into the fridge and then you have yeah, uh, water good. condensation mm. so no good so the, in this way we don't have really to open it all the time and our employees are also faster in uh, processing the orders so i took just one of the three boxes and um, you know what we will start with this one here this is uh, uh, ganlu it is uh, Ganlu from this year. Ganlu is a tea that I have one of the very first tea that I've sourced from Nano Shan. First time back in 2014. And then for a few years, I didn't source it anymore. And last year I did that again. Mm. So it's a tea that uh, I can, it's good that in the studio, even if I forget things, there is everything here. <laughs> it's a Ganlu, is a very, um, as I remember, I haven't tried this one here, it's very um, sweet and refreshing. It comes from uh, the Sichuan province that uh, is uh, in the in the west of China. It looks like a biluochun. I don't know if you ever heard about it, but uh, uh, it tastes very different. Mm. So let's put. Really good. Well, I cannot put this back in because we have to sell this, so I have to refill. So Ralph, what have you done in the past few years? Oh, in the past few years. <laughs> what did I miss? Uh, I didn't work too much in the last two years. Because you are you are a photographer, yes, right? I so am. yeah, and I'm photographing people. <laughs> so yeah, events, so in, events, in, in yeah. COVID time, yeah, no it's jobs. kind of uh, it's kind of difficult. But is now getting better? Oh, Not slowly, yet. Slowly, slowly, really but slowly. Yeah, there are a lot of photographers, so it's. Uh, Do I put this? Not so easy circumstances right now. Everyone mm -hmm. is trying to get back to normal and jobs and. But it's hard, yeah. yeah. But at least I, I shot a wedding last year in Italy. In Italy? Yeah, oh, nice. We're in Italy. Um, we at uh, uh, the, the wedding itself, it was at uh, Portofino. Oh, Not nice. Not exactly Portofino, nice. but uh, like a small village. Uh, is it Santa Margherita or something? Oh, I yeah. Know. I don't know. Close to there. I know Portofino, but yeah, I don't know. It was really nice. A lot of well-known people. Exactly. And it was really interesting. <laughs> well, uh, I'd certainly put uh, a link to your website in the description below. So if you are in Berlin or even if you are in Portofino, <laughs> and you need a very good photographer, I can really suggest Ralph. In fact, Ralph actually did also some uh, photo shooting in our tea house when we had the tea house. Do you remember also when Jen was visiting? and you came over i remember that oh that was so nice yeah and uh, you were she was, were, so she was serving tea. About tea and that was really nice and you were just in front yeah. of, mm, 
I remember just that he was super quick, like he didn't want to disturb the scene. So you were sitting and uh, Jen was preparing tea. She is a friend that was coming from China visiting and you, she, uh, Ralph was just taking up his camera, <laughs> click. And, and, and I was thinking, how do you set the camera so quickly? And he said, yeah, you know, I shoot <laughs> thousands of pictures. Hmm. It's getting busy here. So as you see, we had to, uh, we couldn't really put a table in the studio and have a normal um, tea <laughs> at the table like we did last time with Dimitri when we did the video here. But it's nice, like in the middle of boxes and you in know, the middle of boxes. Yeah, we are good teas around you in boxes, <laughs> surrounded by boxes. Now I see mm, I did something wrong here. I want actually to steep in the guy one. But since I'm so used to steep actually green tea in a glass, oh. I started in a glass, which is not bad. It's actually a good oh. uh, uh, way of steeping green tea that I usually suggest. Oh, that's why I didn't say anything. But we can sure. get the inventive. We can also you can do it in glass. That didn't, didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's super hot, so I cannot even. All right. So we, we, we inverted the guy one and the pitcher mm. basically here. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's how I remember it. And it is steeped at 90 degrees because the, mm. the kettle was too hot, should be at 80, <coughs> but nonetheless, uh, it's not bitter. <coughs> not used to drinking tea anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. Mm. I don't have any insurance for guests visiting, so the don't. last time I drank good tea is <laughs> a long time ago. So I'm used to bigger, bigger um, China. Is it called China? In, in also, what? The tasse. Ah, larger. Yeah, I'm used to larger glasses. To larger <laughs> glasses. Yeah, yeah. This is a. Chinese size. Mm. Mm. So yeah, not not so much work. Yeah, I mean that's uh, that's a problem for all freelancer people working in the gastronomy. Uh, in fact, actually, been in Berlin, I've seen that uh, many restaurants have closed and they're still closed because they are just not opening again. Yes. And from what I hear, is it's hard for a lot of restaurants to find good people to to work there. Yeah, because mm -hmm. a lot of them they they cancel the contracts because we have this um, Kurzarbeitsgeld in Germany, which yeah. is only 60% of your normal um, wage. Um, wage. Mm -hmm. And uh, for restaurant people in the gastronomy, okay. people rely heavily on, um, on tips. Yeah. So they cancel their contracts and work in mm. stores, supermarkets or whatever. And then and uh, they get a get a fixed loan of a fixed uh, wage, mm -hmm. and that's good enough for them. Not enough, not a lot of stress. And, and then they stay there. And getting I, them back is really hard for you know the um, a, a very good restaurant in Denver. Uh, wait, what I wanted mm. to do here now? Just a sec. Oh, yeah. A very good restaurant in Denver uh, had to close uh, three days a week because we, they didn't oh. have enough person to mm. keep it open all the time. Mm. I've seen that on Facebook as yeah. well. Yeah, I heard about it. So, um, this concept. let's hope that uh, we will get back to normality as soon as possible. But you know, now I'm no more in Denver, I'm in Alabama. Yeah. If you go to Alabama, it feels like it's normal because no one cares about uh, COVID anyway. Oh, really? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit different than in the North. In, in, Traveling around the US, you have such differences. You are places where people wear masks. Uh, we both are vaccinated, but we wear masks uh, everywhere they go, yeah. all the time. I know and, they um, wear masks all the time. Yeah. And actually, I was surprised when I was in, uh, uh, coming from Denver and I came here, and here people were not wearing masks on the streets. Mm. Never, actually, even when the COVID was yeah, high. Yeah. Um, well, while I was used to, to wear a mask, even when I was going oh. down to to throw the garbage, basically. Oh, okay. And in Alabama, yeah. it's the opposite. You have the rules, but uh, not so many people no really um, mm. care about it. And, uh, you know, it's always this compromise between uh, freedom. And, uh, yeah, depending where you are in the US, uh, it's very, very different. All right. Yeah. I'm really sad that I couldn't travel to the US for Yeah, you, you use uh, you told me you used to go mm. to DC a lot, isn't it? Your friends yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah normally I, I travel regularly I travel once or twice a year mm -hmm. to the States. 
DC and New York. Already booked for New Year's Eve this year. Oh, two where weeks, do you go? Two, ve two weeks, New York and, and DC. Mm. But I'm not you sure whether this will work out. I, I have no clue. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, it's still closed. You, you, you never know, yeah. And you know what? Since now, I, it's something that I keep on forgetting all the time. So, um, I always say to myself that when I do videos, I, I have to throw in some uh, uh, discount codes mm. so that those people that are really loyal and watch us uh, get get a little bit of a reward. Everyone and, likes discount codes. <laughs> right. And recently, you know, in, in a video uh, a month ago or so, I've done that. I in, uh, in the middle of the video, or actually towards the end, I gave a discount for uh, the European shop 15 oh, percent it's not nice. too little yeah, on everything nice. but just for three days and they had people writing back right after the three ways, oh, days yeah. were gone oh, oh no gone, i missed yeah. that even one guy wrote me i placed the order at mid just before midnight and when i wanted to to submit oh. the payment it was already the next day so we yeah we kind of offer and something in between but we will do something also today okay so ralph if i don't remember towards the end of the video you remind me because we have to give uh, a code to get a discount for both the american shop and the european shop because now we have two shops you know no, no we have also a, an good. online shop uh, in the u.s people from the u.s deserve good tea as well <laughs> <laughs> so and you most probably have two warehouses then yes yes we yeah. have uh, a friend of mine um brian who is the president of the colorado tea society mm. that took over the American shop mm -hmm. and uh, for now is only tea but the mm -hmm. same teas that we have in Europe are there and then um, next year we will slowly bring also mm -hmm. the teaware. Was yeah. it easy to start us? Well, and uh, was it easy? I mean it, there was no difficulties by itself just a lot of work yeah. And you take the tea in your luggage or how mm -hmm. do you mm. or oh the tea was shipped directly from uh, oh, the country of origin okay so how's it importing tea to the u.s is it much not? easier than europe oh, really? yeah oh, if you know oh. to import tea to berlin you can import tea wherever you want in the world i mean oh, germany wow. germany it's 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 a nightmare but it's so secure <laughs> right <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. if you didn't notice ralph is german I'm German as well, but uh, no one, no that? one, uh, no one noticed. I, I can prove it. Or do you have two? I can prove it. Two nationalities, two passports. I can, prove it. can I? Mm. Since it is the Nanoshan Studio, there is everything here, <laughs> even uh, my yeah. German pass. <laughs> pass. <laughs> but mm, so you have one nationality, then? Yeah? Uh, well, I have two. two. I, 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 I am Italian, and mm. actually, in these days. I am becoming 10 years old German. Ah, so I got the German yay. citizenship 10 years ago, pretty much in these days. Mm. So Ralph, I wanted to, um, for, for you to compare two different green teas. So this one we are starting off is uh, a tea that uh, I already knew before. It is very small leaves. As you see, they were almost uh, rolled before. Let's see if we can bring them a little bit closer to the camera here and uh, it's uh, I would say there is no bitterness mm, no it's kind of mm. sweet yeah very light in a way mm. Mm. this tea is uh, is mm, the leaves are heated up and while they are heated up they are also shaped mm. but uh, and that process is done in a kind of in a machine because mm. it's a medium sized uh, factory where there is um, a, a machine that has like uh, cavities like that mm -hmm. you put the leaves inside it is heated mm -hmm. and then move forth and back so the leaves jump up and down and shape and roll the, like uh, mm -hmm. uh, like this and uh, um, the other one that I want to to try today is a uh, is one of the teeth that really Dimitri who does all the description like the most mm -hmm. it is done in Sichuan so not uh, sorry not in Sichuan in Yunnan not too far from mm -hmm. Sichuan and uh, uh, the leaves are a bit similar to the leaves of Longing, which is the most famous green tea, but uh, um, it's done for, with another cultivar in Yunnan. And it is Bao Hong, which is this one here. Yeah. Mm. So let's have a look at those leaves. Hmm. <laughs> really, we, we didn't prepare much for this, for this video. Just Ralph wrote, uh, I'm 
I'm going. Yeah, and you were asking me, hey, how about a video? And I was right. like, mm, uh, you okay. Were, <laughs> you were already <laughs> on the way. And I uh, just asked, uh, would you like to do uh, a video? And, uh, and he said, okay, yeah, I can do that. And so while he was traveling here, I made this uh, setup. So we didn't organize anything. But let's have a look at the Bao Hong. Um, maybe I do another little steep of Ganlu. Like this, Bao Hong. So Bao Hong is more of a high fire. Um, it's heated at fairly high temperature. So should have a little bit of the nuttiness that Longing has. Mm. But as I said, uh, this year, as you all know, I was not able to travel to China, was not allowed. So we had a tea tester in China that tested for us. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, was, I was going to ask you. How, how we did. <laughs> well, yeah, how you did that. Well, it, it worked out fine, you know. So it's, uh, it's good that we have so many contacts. Mm. In fact, I always say, if I combine together, um, probably yeah, Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, uh, what else there is, uh, Telegram, all my contact in all these chats together is less people than on WeChat, which is the yeah. Chinese chat. Yeah. So that helps a lot. And you can do everything with WeChat. That's what I heard. Yeah, you can really do everything. Yeah, um, you know, pay bills and uh, uh, sell things on WeChat. It's not like uh, uh, WhatsApp or Telegram. It is much more uh, advanced. Oh, we don't even need the filter. Okay, so I want. Well, we have steeped this three times. Mm -hmm. uh, we could steep it even more, but I won't keep these leaves. I think in the studio we have enough leaves. <laughs> so let's see. It's super hot. Oh, sorry, it's a bit loud. Mm. Yeah, so we'll have to remember what do I want to. Um, which type of discount code can we give them? I think we are drinking green tea. We will give a discount for green tea. I think that makes sense. Okay. So that's it. Now we put on, uh, well, I, I'll, I'll put uh, actually a picture of this tea because we have taken already a picture of this tea. The interesting aspect is that the tea itself is not uh, um, very, uh, handsome it's not very good looking so the leaves are relatively dark different sizes so you would not expect anything special out of it yeah. as a matter of fact of course it's a matter of taste so we will find out now but Dimitri who tasted I don't know what we have 20 different green tea he said for him the big surprise of the year was Bao Hong oh. we have to say also that most of the other teas we already had in the previous year was not a surprise for Dimitri but every year we try to introduce some new teas mm -hmm. And that's it, yeah. I like surprises. You like surprises? Good. Yeah, surprises are the best. And uh, let's fix uh, the taste of Ganlu in mind. And then we have that comparison with uh, Bao Hong. That's the third steep. Mm. It's getting a little bit more intense. Mm -hmm. um, less sweet, but not yet bitter, I would say. Still very smooth. Yeah much more intense than before right mm -hmm. and still so is is as smooth as it looks like look how clear it is mm -hmm. with and we even didn't filter it you just see a little bit of all the tiny hair yeah. that are on the leaves that tiny bit still no bitterness that's very good it's nice yeah mm -hmm. you know it's also because it's particularly fresh and uh, yeah i said we keep them in the fridge but then um if you especially if you don't keep green tea in a fridge after a year mm -hmm. It, you lose quite some and actually many of you have asked shall we keep the green tea in the fridge now depending how much you buy but if you buy just a few pouches and you're going to consume them within let's say a few months there is no need to put in the fridge mm -hmm. also because in the fridge there is the risk of cross-contamination with the food smell smell 80 degrees so pretty much where we want it Okay. I still envy your tea kettle. This kettle, this is really nice. Yeah, I love it. And uh, I have more modern one and, you know, far but more expensive. But this one I really, um, I really, I really like. Yeah. 
and with the opportunity to set the degrees. Yes. Set the heat. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so let's see how it is bao hong. So did you, you said during these three years you didn't have a lot of time for uh, work because yeah, work was scarce. So how actually did you use the time? <laughs> like, you know, it's, <laughs> it's really, it's really interesting. If you, if you see it in retrospect, I just could have made a really large vacation that wouldn't have changed anything like from my use of time mm -hmm. that's a surprise mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah mm -hmm. uh, it was a lot of i would say feeling miserable kind mm -hmm. of and, mm -hmm. and trying not to feel miserable so oh, I like would fighting say, against the feelings and yeah yeah and um yeah it's, it's mm -hmm. been pretty hard and seeing it uh, the same with all my friends and not with all my friends but with a lot of friends who mm -hmm. um, yeah who are freelancers as well that was really hard but, time. Uh, but you have uh, the possibility to exchange with them and at least um, or not really i think there are there are certain personality traits and and my mm. personality trait is more like concentrating on myself and, mm. and uh, getting away from people when i'm not feeling really okay. good that's what i did so the fact that you contacted me means it's going better no at least it means that i'm really happy to see you and that's the only <laughs> opportunity but, <laughs> that's yeah. also true uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. it, well COVID has been there for one and a half years everyone mm -hmm. like is getting used to it at least and yeah the moment i got vac vaccinated was a really good moment for me so at yeah least. yeah really i, I uh the same for me you know as soon as the vaccine came out and we could be uh, i got my first shot in february even, oh, i wow. think yeah so long ago yeah, oh, yeah. Then I came over to uh, Berlin uh, and actually I got stuck here for quite some time oh, because okay. I didn't have my documents. I, they got stolen. Oh no. That's why I have a new passport actually. Okay. Okay. And, um, mm. oh, so different. Mm. I even didn't mm. check how Dimitri described that, but for me, the texture, let's, mm. let's focus about the texture, just the feeling in the mouth. The one before was very light. Mm, this yeah. one to me, it's kind of thick, kind of thick, thick. dense, mm -hmm. oily. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, a tiny bit more vegetal, but um, oh, it's hard. There's some bitterness and floral as well. There is there is a, a tiny bit uh, mm. a, a, um, a, a hint a hint of mm. bitterness. Yeah. Mm. I think that one why mm. Dimitri really, really enjoyed this tea is uh, because but i have to ask him actually is because it is so different mm. than any other green tea in a way it is by the way this is uh so Baohong, we said it is a tea that come from yunnan is a classic so it's not very well known but is uh, uh, a classic from yunnan a classic green tea from yunnan yunnan is very uh, a very big producer of green tea mm -hmm. now these days we think at yunnan just as a shampooer but Yunnanese people they mainly drink green tea and local green tea. Now this green tea is um, um, is made in Yunnan, but is made in Yunnan has a lot of plants, tea plants with large leaf variety. So we have these two type of varieties: large leaves and small leaves, uh, Xiao Ye Zhong and uh, Da Ye Zhong in Chinese, and they have a lot of large leaf variety that are the original plant. But this particular tea is done with a local variety that has small leaves. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. So one thing I know, I'll take a, I'll take a bag of this one with me. Hmm. Because um, boy, it's so difficult. So it is, it is floral to me. It is, it is like having florality and oil. So you have that mm. oil that yeah. re even reminds me a little bit of the taste of olive oil. Even me, I don't know why. That's a good description. Yeah. I would say it's more the, the bodily sensation you get by good oil. Mm -hmm. It's like the the, the... the feeling in the mouth, yeah. Yeah, the feeling in the mouth. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's... 
It's definitely uh, to try for those of you that, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter if you are into green tea or not, even if you're not, just uh, uh, get a sample in your next order just to uh, just to try it. Um, and probably this tea won't change too fast in taste uh, because it is high fire, so the, the taste is really fixed on the lips a little mm. bit better. Uh, what time it is? Okay, we have a little bit of time. So low fire teas change quickly mm. change quicker low fire tea it has more moisture mm. more remaining moisture in the leaves so higher moisture content in the leaf mm. and uh, you use heat to fix the taste mm. so think about uh, jasmine tea where you take uh, the leaves from green tea you take the flower from jasmine you even don't uh, mix them together if done properly you have them in different shelves in a room in a week the leaves absorb the fragrance oh, okay. of the flowers oh. and then to fix that taste you bake the leaves oh, yeah okay. so heat fix don't ask me about the biochemical process or certainly more chemical of uh, the fixation of the molecule because mm. of heat but somehow that's the result yeah well, it's. I, I have to check how Dimitri did describe this tea. It's definitely less bitterness. It wasn't a lot of bitterness, just a hint of bitterness. But I don't have any bitterness left. Mm -hmm. Do you? No, no. I'm, I'm also very resistant in terms of bitterness. I really like bitter mm. taste. In the meantime, you know, when I was younger, it was very much about sweetness. And now, sometimes, you know, people taste bitterness and I say, oh, really? Mm. Um, I, I drink, I don't have sugar at all, um, oh. don't use sugar. Hmm. Yeah, think about um, a, a hint of vegetables, uh, this olive thickness mm. and taste, and put a lot of flowers in the background, mm. because mm. It's, it, it is very aromatic, but more and more um, in the background somehow, mm. yeah. Hmm. So how many teas is Dimitri tasting a day? <laughs> not not many a day, uh, because he works uh, two, three days a week, okay. and he's responsible also for other things mm. in the tea house. But we have, um, I mean, now it's a bit messy because I changed everything, mm. but we have a, a, a set here. Mm. And like yesterday, when I arrived, he was here and was tasted two teas, okay. yeah, for example. So it's, um, and then he described them uh, mm. on the website. Uh, there is, uh, you know, a long process because we have to mm. make the photos. Uh, translation, uh, creation of the now of the product page on the US mm -hmm. shop. So it's a long process, and uh, we try to bring out a few new products every month. And um, uh, just recently, I counted how many products we have in this studio that are not yet online between T and T were, and there are more than hundred. Oh wow! Not hundred pieces, hundred different things basically that have to feel come out so like there's tea in here which is not on the website oh yeah like 50 like no I'm not, almost 50 i think it was 46 teas that are not as of today they are still read in the studio but not yet online i think that yeah that calls for a discount code <laughs> <laughs> oh yes the discount code right no, i almost no, forgot I'm, I'm, do I'm a surprise forgot. do a surprise <laughs> because i like Surprises. surprises. Other people like surprises as well. Yeah, like we do. Pay we for do. something and then you put something which is not on our website ah, yet. You know, the problem of that is that uh, oh, you, oh, you see okay. these boxes? I see. This is where all the teas <laughs> are. And you know, just to take for, for someone okay. a tiny bit out, oh, that's maybe not possible. Mm. you have to pay an employee 20 minutes to dig it out. And uh, so it's very, and yeah, <laughs> so it's complex for that. But what, uh, um, what you remind me is actually that we wanted to give you a discount. So let's do like that. Let's say that uh, for, hmm, what do we do? I would say, let's say for a week, okay? Well, when this video comes out, for a week, yeah, uh, we will keep, we will put 20% discount, generous, I would say, on all green tea of the shops, US and European. And how do you get that discount? You have to use a code that I will give you after this tip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 70 degrees I have to warm up a little bit the water the weather is getting worse but yeah so how's the weather in Alabama oh is it hot, hot humid mm. yeah um, very hard to do any sport outside either you go out at 6 a.m. in summer 
or you it's just too 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 much and Alabama's in the, in the south isn't it oh yeah very much mm -hmm. in the south it is uh, kind of between Florida if you want uh, and uh, is just underneath Tennessee mm. and there is uh, Mississippi yeah, no, on the, the, Mississippi, on yeah. the oh. it's, on, it's boiling oh, oh, let's do oh. boiling we want to yeah. try I know we should get some bitterness now and I even close the lid which usually well there are a lot of reasons why not but why not now well. but why not now right <laughs> <laughs> why not yeah. now don't put uh, boiling water in your green tea normally yeah <laughs> And I will make it even more difficult this time because I feel a bit mean. I won't write the code no, on the it. screen, just say it. but I will just say it. Shall we? So and how, how big is the city you are living in? 200,000, Huntsville, Alabama. This is where the um, Saturn V of the Apollo mission was built. Oh, okay. So there is a lot of space there. By the way, did you know that this is really German asking for sizes of the city? That's what I learned a few days ago. <laughs> really? I read it somewhere. I, I tend to do that really, the same. So and maybe it's really I, true. Well, you're yeah. German. Other people in German. <laughs> for 10 years. That's why I forgot. Yeah, because uh, whenever I meet other people just mm -hmm. to get an impression of their home city or home country or whatever, I always ask like, how big is, how the, big city? is the city? And I could have told you and it's the biggest city, can't, can't one that. of the biggest city in Alabama, but okay. uh, most people no, can't answer cannot, that. Yeah. yeah, people who are living um, uh, a certain time. I have been traveling in East Europe a lot and meeting a lot of people from East Europe, mm -hmm. and generally they weren't. Um, they didn't how know many how big people live um, in Berlin. No, in do their you know? home city. Do you know? Is uh, your three point five some, or four? Oh, it's it four? more precise than I. Something like that. <laughs> well, I'm not from Berlin, so. Wait, where are you from? I, I I try. Wait, I think I knew. No, I, I forgot. Where are you from? Southern part of Heidelberg? Germany. No, close to Heidelberg. Stuttgart. In a, yeah, Stuttgart. near Stuttgart. Yeah, okay. a small city. I studied one year in Stuttgart. Yeah, I think we talked about mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Stuttgart. Yeah, I come just come from Stuttgart. I have been traveling there yesterday. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was mm -hmm. my niece's third birthday. So much stronger now. I mean, hundred degrees water. Yeah, and it's well, and uh, now even I feel even astringency, you know, uh, when the palate dry, so mm -hmm. too much. Don't steep yeah. this at 100 degrees. Don't do that. Not a good choice. <laughs> so we say we wanted to give you a code, and uh, the code will be the name of this tea. And um, don't repeat it. No, but I can sh I can show that. Uh, where is? Uh, ah, here. Yeah. So it will be as it is written here. So you write all together, Bao Hong. 2021 in capital letter you use Bao Hong 2021 in capital letter and uh, for the next week since uh, the release of this video you get 20% discount on all green teas that's a good choice it's not bad eh? and with that for me it's really time to hurry up and I have to go to work because uh, it's very it's very stressful actually where I am in Europe because uh, there are seven hours difference, so I have to come here in the morning and then uh, in the afternoon, actually, my colleagues get up uh, in the US and the day start again. <laughs> so, Ralph, thanks a lot for uh, yeah joining in this uh, video. We always love to do video with friends, with tea friends, and uh, I really hope that COVID is over for me, for you, yes. for everyone that can <laughs> that can be better. And, um, and for you guys, uh, I will see you in the next video. If you enjoy this type of uh, videos with friends, maybe not in the usual set, but a bit improvised, please give us a thumbs up and go ahead, subscribe our channel if you haven't done it so, and more videos like this will come your way very soon. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>